Hi, this is Dr. Di Pasquale, and today I'm here to talk to you about a very common question that I get asked. Is it okay to let yourself go after you get married? Now, this just doesn't apply to women. It applies to men as well. And actually, my husband and I have this ongoing joke where I'll ask him, hey, what would happen? We've been married up 22 years. What would happen if I just let myself go and didn't care at all? And his answer is usually, well, first of all, you won't be happy with yourself, so I really don't have to answer that question. So he really skirts the issue as much as he can. But the bottom line is there was a recent study that showed that spousal attractiveness paid a, paid a, played a major role in marital satisfaction, and that's kind of a big deal. It also showed that men who felt that their wives were attractive really went out of their way to make sure that their needs were met. Personally, I think that's kind of a nice thing. So it's also funny because it reminds me of this uh, one time when I was in the office and I had a, a, a male and a female. They were both married. The man was in one room. The woman was in another room. And she actually had one of my med spa brochures and she asked me all about Botox and whatnot. And at the end of the conversation, she said, you know what? I don't really need to do anything because my husband, he loves me just the way I am. So I said, okay, great, that's perfect. I'm really happy for you. And you know, went on to treat her medical issues. So a few minutes later, when I walked into the husband's room, he too had that med spa brochure in his hand. And he said to me, you know, I really wish my wife would take partake in some of your medical spa services. I've noticed that she's really starting to look like she's aging over the last couple of years. So it's kind of funny because I think men don't really tell us that they are seeing signs of aging or that you've gained weight because they've really been trained not to. They're going to get in trouble. So why would they say something like that? I think the bottom line is it's really up to us to have a proper self-esteem to not really let ourselves go. I mean, I think everybody wants to be married to somebody that they're proud of, and that makes a huge difference in not only marital satisfaction, but your own self-esteem. So I think you need to ask yourself, is it really okay to let yourself go after you get married? My opinion is no. This is Dr. Deepasquale. Thanks for watching.